once again we're going to be doing some winter squirrel shooting how many will we get let's find out this morning i'm going to be targeting the gray squirrels it's a very wet and windy day i've had peanuts out in the feeder for a couple of weeks now and it's just started to go down I've no idea how many i can expect to get just got to sit and wait give it another half an hour and i'll probably see the first one As always with my squirrel shooting, I'm always there before first light. So I'm having to use the night vision on the camcorder and also my scope. We we'll take out the first one of the morning and you'll see just as the video goes on, you'll see the light start to slowly filter into the woodland. We are now into January, so the cold weather is really settling in. This is where the squirrels are really starting to stock up for winter, and it hasn't taken them long to find the peanuts. It would be nice if the squirrels came a little bit later on, because right now I'm shooting in the dark. But as you can see there's now a lot more light entering the woodland. We're slowly getting into more daylight. I usually get the odd one or two which come in really early, but they seem to be flooding in this morning. And because I'm having to use the night vision on my Zulus, I've got a nice black and white image and the white crosshair seems to complement it quite well. Three down, three clinical headshots. Certainly can't argue with that. But there's still no time to waste at all, because now you can see there's more activity. There's at least three squirrels in this little section here. So now I have quite a choice of which squirrel do I follow. We've got one which is now sitting up on top, but it will not settle. There'll be more dominant squirrels here, so they'll be bullying other ones off because they want to feed first. So like I always say, with squirrel shooting, you've just got to bide your time. And usually, 90% of the time, a squirrel will eventually settle. I'm going to make a decision for you here. Run. I'm sure we'll catch up with that squirrel a different day. But for now we have four down in total. Now we've got more dominance and queuing traffic coming up onto the feeder. So it looks like we just need to let these battle it out and see if one makes any kind of fatal error. I've now changed from night vision mode into day mode. You can see there's blood on the feeder already. Still a little bit grainy because it is quite dark. But the image is only going to get better as the morning goes on.
and I can finally turn the night vision off on the camcorder as well. And now you can see the amount of bodies which are now starting to pile up. It's been really, really fast. These squirrels have non stop coming in, and I haven't been in my hive long. And that's another squirrel down. And at this point, because they've come in that quick, I'm starting to lose count. Well, that was a crazy 20 minutes. I have no idea how many I just got. They just kept coming. There were so many about. Six? Have we got six? No idea. To figure out how many I've actually shot, I've taken my 10 shot magazine out of my rifle just to count how many pellets are left. Four pellets left, six empty chambers, I've shot six. And at this point they don't seem to be coming in in a single file. They're coming in twos or threes and sometimes fours. There's not much I can do at the moment except sit back and wait and just hope that a squirrel lines up for a shot. And since changing to day mode on my Zulus, I've actually changed the colour of the reticle because the white one's getting hard to see. The rifle that I'm using today is the Air Arms S510 in 177. I usually use a Virac HW100 in 2.2 for the squirrels, but that one's getting some custom work done, so I've just got to wait for that one to come back. I've also got the Arkansas on top, and I'm also using a Manbilly shooting clamp. People are always asking me what I use. Um, this one's currently on test, and if you don't want to pay the price of a bog death grip, and this one is full aluminium construction, really high quality. A young squirrel has now ventured into the danger zone. It's not 100% sure what is happening as it can see plenty of bodies on the backs and it's not quite sure what to make of it. But further up the tree, there is a more senior squirrel which is coming down. It's not coming down with great speed, but it is making its way. Whether it's seen the bodies or not, doesn't seem overly too fussed. but the young squirrel now decides to make an appearance because it wants breakfast but it looks as if it's been bullied away being the less dominant squirrel in this instance could actually be a lifesaver
you've been given the opportunity of life, a second chance. I highly recommend that you do run away. I gave you that chance and you didn't take it. So after getting that lucky double, well unlucky for the second one anyway, decided just to go and collect all those nine. There's a lot of the squirrels which are still coming in and now being scared off. It took just two minutes from me getting out and clearing all those nine squirrels to getting back into the hide and another squirrel has appeared. This one does seem agitated and runs further up the tree. And it's looking like it's going to stay there. Ten shots gone already. Let's see if we can get a few more. Really good morning. Really good morning. I was not expecting to get into double figures, and I was not expecting this squirrel to start attacking an already dead squirrel, the one that I just shot out of the tree. It's not going to get much reaction out of that squirrel. But it soon got bored, and now we've got this squirrel onto the feeder. I'm just taking my time with this one, because it's just making some very minute head movements. So I'm waiting until I've got a clear shot. Well I was certainly happy with that last headshot and I was happy with how the morning went. I was actually expecting a few more after I got those nine but just managed two more and I'm certainly not going to complain. Well I got more than expected this morning, managed to bag these 11 using the Aeron's S510 with the Arkansas on top. After I shot nine it did seem to go a little bit quiet. There were still quite a lot of squirrels coming in but they didn't seem to be committing onto the feeder. I managed to just get a couple more and that's where I called it. So it was a, a really, really good morning. Really happy with how it went. They came out absolutely flooding in first thing, probably got about six or seven in the first 30 minutes, which was definitely unexpected. But hope you enjoy the video. Hopefully I'll see you on the next one. Cheers for watching.